Hey guys, GoFries here, and in this video, we'll have a look at the Ryzen 3 2200G again. Now, AMD has released this processor half a year ago, and I've done my review on it, but why, but why am I back to this topic again? Well, because I find it a little disturbing to see that many shops are selling gaming PCs with the Ryzen 3 2200G on it, and using just a single stick of RAM. Now, it's not wrong to do so, but the thing that's of my concern is that do users know what they're getting? So let's have a look at what it's like to have a um, Ryzen 3 2200G system with just one stick of RAM. Now, in this, in this video, I'll be showing you actual recording of the difference between a system that uses a single stick of 2666 RAM, a system that uses two sticks of 2666 RAM, meaning it's running dual channel, and lastly, a dual channel setup with a higher speed RAM running at 3200. Details of the RAM and everything else will be on the screen as we progress, but let me tell you that the processor is using the AMD Ryzen 3 2200G. The VRAM has been set to 2 gigs, and then the RAM is using an XPG Specstrix D41. I'm using a dual channel kit, meaning that I load the XMP so it runs at 3200, and for the 2666 test, I just lowered the speed. And as for the board, I'm using an ASRock X470 Gaming ITX AC. So now let's have a look at the benchmarks. you see the details are there, and you see a huge performance difference between the single, chan the single channel setup and the dual channel setup. Have a look at it now. I'll be keeping quiet and I'll let the benchmarks speak for themselves. Thank you. 
This middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiance top Nothing to do with this. This is unacceptable. How can they let this go on? Alright, so I hope you have a good time with the benchmark. Now, let me elaborate a bit. As you can see, the first two benchmarks are synthetic benchmarks. Then there's Dota 2 for a, represent a representation for eSports title. And then there's two AAA titles, which is Rise of the Tomb Raider and Deus 6 Mankind Divided. Now, here's the thing that the benchmark does now does not show you. For Rise of the Tomb Raider, it was edited because the single 
channel setup took too long to load the last scene. So in order to synchronize them, I've edited, I've edited them to match. And as for the Deus Ex, man, the Mankind Divided, if you notice, the one with the single channel setup takes longer than the rest to finish. Bad, isn't it? So do you think an AMD Ryzen 3 2200G computer with a single channel RAM setup is worthy to be called a gaming PC? Well, it's not so in my book. Bear in mind, these setups are running at 720p. 720p is quite a low resolution and it couldn't perform properly. So in my opinion, if you want to game and get at least a dual channel setup, even if it's a 2666 or even if you have to go to 2400, go with it, dual channel. Some 2400 uh, MHz RAM can be overclocked to 2666. So you have a chance of getting um, better frame rates there. And if you, uh, if you study the benchmarks, the average, I have it on, on text, you, you see that the difference between a uh, dual channel 2666 to a dual channel 3200, the, the difference is uh, like anywhere from five to even 15%. So that's a lot. Um, do I remember Dota 2 comes to about almost 20% difference when it comes to average frame rates. Now, that aside, the price range um, on the screen right now, you see that I have the price for, the current price for the RAM, this uh, XPG D41. And I also compare it with, um, to get you an idea of what's the value like, meaning that I've took the RAM, the price, and on the, this other side, you see the numbers. I've totaled the average of the five tests that I did just now. And looking at the total frame rates versus the price. Now, if you look at the price difference, it's not much. For the single channel setup, it's 335. The rest are 370 something. So it, it looks like the ones with dual channel setup are cost a bit more. Yes, it does, but you get far better gaming experience. So, all right, uh, that's it for this video. A long one, but I hope that with this video, you know what you're getting. If you ever have a Ryzen 3, or actually this even applies to Ryzen 5 2400G, as long as you're running a single channel memory setup, you will not be enjoying your gaming experience. You should go dual channel. As you can see, dual channel pretty much doubles the performance of a single channel setup when it comes to AMD's Ryzen processor with RX Vega graphics on it. Now, um, if you, as you notice, I didn't call it APU because AMD doesn't exactly call it APU nowadays. I know the previous generation processor with integrated graphics are called APU, but apparently this is not the case. Although even on the URL and various other places, you can, you can still call it APU. No one's against that. I'm just saying that I don't call it APU because it's, it's, uh, even if you look, at, you look at the box here, it says processor with Radeon Vega graphics. So it is not an APU, at least not here. Um, Although, up to what I remember, AMD's URL does use a APU on it, but well, I'm digressing. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you in my uh, upcoming videos. Bye-bye and yes, share, subscribe. See you in the next one.